In the last video, you learned how you can format your pivot chart in Excel. But you can also filter your pivot chart in the same way that you filter a pivot table. Using filters lets you reconfigure your graphics quickly without having to create and format several new charts. You'll notice that the field list pane has changed slightly for the pivot chart. The report filter and values boxes remain the same, but the column labels box becomes the legend fields and the row labels box becomes the axis fields. The report filter can be changed by using the drop down menu located in the upper left corner of the chart. Click on the drop down menu for region. Select west from the list and then click OK. pivot chart updates to display the average salaries from the western region of the US. The axis field filter is in the lower left corner of the chart. This filter allows you to control which categories of position will be displayed along the x-axis of the chart. Click on the drop down menu for position. Now click on the check boxes so that only the salaries for operations and sales positions will be displayed. Then click on OK. Again, the pivot chart updates to show only the salaries for the two positions we selected. The legend filter button is located right above the legend. You can use this to select which categories will be displayed from the legend field. Click on the legend filter drop down menu. Next, click on female to deselect that gender and only display the data for males then click OK. As you probably expected, Excel has updated the chart to reflect your choice. By now you probably have a pretty solid handle on the filtering process, so we'll end here. This also wraps up our video series on pivot tables and pivot charts. At this point, you're ready to get moving with your own data and create some informative and great looking pivot objects in Excel. These will come in handy as you move forward in our series on statistical analysis, and I look forward to seeing you in the next section.